So now under the assumption that the pandemic and required containment peaks in the second quarter in most countries in the world and then recedes in the second half of this year, we are projecting global growth in 2020 to fall to minus 3%. Now, this is a downgrade of 6.3 percentage points from January 2020, a major revision over a very short period of time. This makes the Great Lockdown the worst recession since the Great Depression and far worse than the global financial crises. So for the first time since the Great Depression, both advanced economies and emerging and developing economies are in recession. For 2020, growth in advanced economies is projected at minus 6%. Emerging market and developing economies, which typically have normal growth levels well above advanced economies, are also projected to have negative growth of minus 1% and minus 2.2% if you exclude China. Collaborative effort is needed to ensure that the world does not deglobalize so that the recovery is not damaged by further losses to productivity. Domestic and international policy responses need to be large, rapidly deployed, and speedily recalibrated as new data becomes available. The courageous actions of doctors and nurses around the world need to be matched by policymakers so we can jointly overcome the crises.